so in this video we are actually going to see how to do the user authentication so for that actually the first thing what we are going to do is that we are going to create a new application right so while creating the new application so here I am actually creating a new application here so python manage.py and start app user auth okay so user auth is the name of the uh, application so in the blocks and I already have one application uh, starting block and now I have another application user auth okay so all this login and uh, user authentication I am trying to give it on to a new application itself so when you uh, look over here uh, to in the blocks in so this is your blocks in right and uh, then uh, you have the starting app where we were working till now whatever we have worked and now we have this uh, you know user auth with the default ones there so this is how basically we have uh, we, we we have actually created the new application so if you remember right so in this step what we are going to do is that you know say when we go to the urls uh, in the user app uh, you, you will not have this urls.py so i've just uh, you know uh, right clicked and created a new file and made a urls.py uh, in this particular thing so exactly like in the starting block we as we didn't had one urls.py we don't have any urls.py uh, in the in the user auth as well so we have just created one so for easiness what you could do is that you could just go to the urls.py of uh, and a and i'm just going to paste it here in this urls.py nothing is there so i'm just going to take of all the extra stuff so that you know it is easier for us to understand what it is so we could take all of this off and we don't need any explanations for any of those right so we just want the path and the urls pattern right this is only this we have to have right and save it now we will actually you know fill this you know to understand what we have to do so let it be here so now the other thing which we have to do is that whenever create work, so this is your main blocks in so in your blocks in you know you have this settings.py so whenever you create a new application the first thing which you have to do is that you have to add it right so whenever we created the starting block we actually added this in the installed apps in the same way we need to add uh, user auth also here okay so we are adding user auth user authentication here and the comma is a must right so save it okay so this is very very important and then after that we have to go to this urls.py so as we have added the path for uh, starting block dot urls right its application the same way we need to add the path here also so for that we need to add the path here the user auth is basically added uh, under the installed apps in blogs and settings.py and uh, then in the urls.py we have actually added two things one is actually this uh, path that is user auth okay so that means when i when we move on to that particular page it has to show like user auth and uh, it is actually including this uh, django.contrib.auth so django.contrib.auth is the Django authentication system and in that you know there is URLs package so this package will help us to maintain the login page logout page registration page etc and we need to add this path also separately like include user auth dot urls as we have added the starting block dot urls so this is what we have done now probably what we could do is that you know uh, we could select uh, this user auth and it would be the same path here also so why do we require these two so this is the uh, first place where django basically goes and use for the authentication so if in case there are certain pages where the where you know it has to go to somewhere else or it is not provided properly then it will go to this default path this path so this has to be updated in uh, the urls.py so here now we have to do this so here now what we have done is that you know say uh, in the starting block we have we had this templates folder right the same way in user auth we have actually uh, 
created a new folder templates in that we have actually created another folder registration so we are trying to keep all this registration login log out and everything as a separate folder itself because we might add another uh, html files also later for for other parts of the you know web web page right so we don't want it to get mixed so we are actually keeping a folder called registration and within the registration we have this login.html and register.html so we have actually created in inside the registration we have actually created two different files now we need to know what has to be there in login.html for that uh, just to make our life easy go back to starting block and in the templates in this add post we are just copying those contents again and we are going back to the login.html and we are going to paste it here so it could be part of the base.html itself so no change has to be done and here uh, we can create instead of create a new uh, blog post we can make it as login and instead of add post we can make it as login and uh, uh, the other place where we could see that's all right so login and uh, yes so that's all and uh, in the registration also we can actually copy them and instead of uh, create a new page we could say register and uh, the same thing you can actually copy paste and put it here and add post okay so so that's all so we can keep the same form it's completely fine and uh, i mean like you know we can edit those things later now so we have got uh, two different uh, okay so now what happened is that i'm just going to change this as uh, rename it as login okay so what i will do is because i uh, when i created it actually generated uh, more to recycle bin yes so this also more to recycle bin yes and say this is the login so i can rename it as uh, login dot uh, login dot html yes and now this is the register page so i can just rename it as uh, register dot html right so in the registration we do have login dot html which has got uh, login login right and uh, so here also we have to change the name to login as yes, the button name has to be changed and here in register in register we can actually change the name to register right so these are the changes that we have actually done right now so here in the views.py uh, we don't have anything much here so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to take the code and i'm going to save it so this is the um, so it is very clearly given here so this all these things i'm just uh, trying to this i need so i'm just closing this i don't want test.py now okay settings.py is done and uh, views i require so register you have already seen and uh, login you have already seen right just a second so i'm going to take um, this folder i'm gonna close that this as well so in the user auth right we have seen the login.html we also know register.html now we are going to talk about views.py right so the views.py uh, the first one is actually render then we have actually imported the generic and then we have this contra contrib.auth.forms and we will be creating a form user creation form later a bit later and we have seen the reverse i mean like word to redirect right so uh, here in order not to have the names in the conflict we are keeping it as reverse underscore lazy 
so in the user register view we have like generic dot create view in that uh, the form class is your user creation form that the form which we were talking about we will create a bootstrap form for that and then comes the template so in the template we have to we cannot directly give register.html instead as uh, you know the templates should not get confused for the Django we have actually created this registration so registration slash register.html and uh, then again comes the success URL so where it has to be say once the registration is over it will again go back to the login page and it will ask you to log in again right so the login page so this is what uh, we have actually created here so having done this you know we have to go to the urls.py so in the urls.py we have this default one which is the path and then uh, from dot views we are actually you know getting this user registration view so where did we get this user registration view it is in the views itself so this name this name is basically taken using user registration view and uh, uh, after that you know we have to set the path for the path you know register so this is how it will appear in the address bar right and then user registration view as view and we have to give the name so we are giving the name as register and save it okay so this is your urls.py so now, now the next thing which we have to do is uh, going back to the um, base.html okay going back to the base.html we need to uh, copy this code okay because we need another um, <coughs> another link right you're copying this sorry cop we have to copy and uh, then again paste that particular code and here we need to instead of uh, add post we need it as uh, register and here instead of add post we should give it as register and we will save this save this file so this is how it is so when we will add the login in the base.html see this is the base.html so in your uh, templates folder in the blocks in right base.html in the base.html we have actually added this login right so when we add this login if you could see the uh, output here say you have this login page so when you go to the login page say i'm just login logging in with the normal login page it is going to the uh, home page why is it so because uh, in the settings.py in the settings.py we have actually redirected back to the home okay so once we are actually adding that it will go back to the home right and now um, uh, when we try to register say when we click on the register say I can register some new name say I'm, I'm registering some new name so Bob and I'm just giving some random password and register uh, so how will you know whether it is registered because when you go back to your <coughs> admin I'm just going to log in with admin admin and uh, the password so when I log in with the admin you could see that um, you have uh, registered okay so you have this Bob and new and let me go back here yes. Okay, so CSRF token is failed. So there is some issue which is coming in. So CSRF token from post incorrect. Let's let's fix that first. So as you have given the uh, in the settings dot py, you have actually given this login redirect as home. So what happens is that when you try to uh, register, when you do the login here, you will log in and you will be redirected back to the home page, right? So that's the meaning of it and uh, you can also register when you register you could see the updates here in the admin page and if you want to delete certain um, uh, registrations which you have done as usual you can go ahead and uh, select the delete selected users go and it will be deleted 
So here there is a small error which occurs with the CSR of token. So uh, let's see what it is. So this can occur as a genuine cross site forgery. Okay. Now we can trial the register. So I'm giving a new username like uh, trial and the password is luck and I'm trying to register. Um, yes because you know the thing is uh, the password is too short so what i will do is i will give luck uh, one two three four okay so here i'm going to give luck uh, l u c k one two three four and we will register so it is actually going to the login page right so now um so here I am going to give the username I am going to log in with the same uh, password so now if it is a uh, successful login it will redirect uh, to the um, home page yes so it is good so and you could also see the hello trial here right so now we are actually going to the admin the admin we are just logging into the admin and uh, in the admin uh, you could see the trial right so this is basically updated here now here in our login page so we have already logged in as say we are logging in as uh, admin it is actually reflected here so once we have actually logged into the um, we don't have a logout button right so for that uh, what we need to do is that we will go to the um, base.html page in the starting blog we will go to the base.html in the templates base.html and uh, what we could do is that we will copy this login this part and uh, we will make it a logout So we'll see the rest of the things in the next video. Thank you.